Hey, what is up everyone? This is Unrivaled Skyrim, and this is going to be part 2 of my historical battle, the Bastarnate invasion into Dardania, and last time I left off, I showed you the battle that occurred between Monius' forces and that of the Bastarnate tribes. And so beginning where I left you guys off last video, um, the Bastarnate actually defeated the Dardanians and Monius because the second force that Monius had dispatched did not arrive in time to partake in the battle, which left him uh, overwhelmed by the 30,000 strong of the Bastarne and overwhelmed and defeated. Monius did indeed have to retreat uh, what was left of his forces and uh, take them back into the city within the walls. And Clontaicus, the Bastarne commander, he decided to commit all of his forces to besieging the city. He wanted to hastily storm the enemy and end the conflict. Oh, the smell of blood in the morning. May the gods bless us, my fellow men. Keep your prayers to yourself, boy. Their general believes he can take us here. He thinks we are not ready. His army thinks we are barbarian scum. Shall we teach them a lesson? Make ready! Let's send these children to their deaths! Remember block and counter! I don't want any gratuitous disemboweling or limb ripping or looting! Is that understood? Just defend these bloody walls! I hope your insides smell better than your outsides! Because of these walls? What are they against the power in our hearts? Onward! For the glory of our ancestors! My blade is itching to cut you open! Now with Clondicus's army absent, the second Dardanian force Manius had dispatched earlier now stumbled upon the Bastarne camp unguarded and now Clondicus was no longer in possession of his army's baggage and supply line thus forcing him to disengage from besieging Monius and the city. This particular conflict goes to show that you can win the battle, but then still lose the war. Clonicus was too aggressive and did not take precautions before abandoning his forces and their supplies. Most perished crossing the frozen Danube on foot. Monius had displayed great courage and foresight to defend his country from unfavorable odds. He should be regarded in history as a hero, a man I now look up to. Well that's it for my first historical battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will be making more of these types of videos if anyone wants me to do a battle in particular. Um, please let me know. I will go ahead and do it. Um, so please leave a like, subscribe, comment, um, yeah, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.